Should I say what's up y'all? What's up y'all? We are in Louisiana in the southern United States and we are so excited to be here. Alicia and I have flown all the way from Australia to go on a four day Louisiana road trip, starting off in Lake Charles, checking out Lafayette, and of course going to the swamps. Now, truth be told, we didn't actually know what to do in Louisiana before we got here. So we teamed up with our friends at Vacay and used their website to come up with an epic itinerary. So thanks to those guys, we figured out exactly where we want to go. It's time to get in the car and start our four day Louisiana road trip. We're getting out into the countryside now. How do you feel driving on the other side of the road, Jared? I feel like I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> First stop on our Louisiana road trip is the Creole Nature Trail All-American Road. It is a loop you can do just outside of Lake Charles here in Louisiana. And one of the main reasons to come to do it is to check out all the different wildlife you have here. There are over 400 species of birds, 132 different types of fish, and of course, alligators, which is what we're hoping to see today. So we're gonna get in the car, hit the road along Pintail Wildlife Drive and see what we can find. So I'm basically just driving along, looking out into the water, hoping that we see an alligator snap or make some movement. We just spotted our first alligator. We're just driving along. I was like, that looks like a big log, it's not a log. Give me the camera. What the hell? This is crazy. We made it to the end of the road now. We're at Rutherford Beach, which is right here on the Gulf of Mexico, which is pretty cool. You can bring your caravan or a tent down here. You can camp up as long as you like. You can go swimming and fishing, but it's pretty windy right now, so they don't recommend doing any swimming. So I think what we're going to do now is get back in the car and cruise on back to Lake Charles and see if we can find some lunch. After seeing the alligators, we decided we needed lunch, so we've come to Luna Bar and Grill, and we're getting a burger with some fries. It's such a beautiful afternoon here in Lake Charles. We've come down just outside of town to one of the bayous where you can actually cruise around by kayak, which you can see here, we've got a couple. We've caught up with our good mate now, Sarge, local legend here in Lake Charles. He's gonna take us for a bit of a paddle, 10 miles, which I think is like 16 kilometers. So we're in for a bit of a exercise, Asava. Perfect timing, sun's coming down. We're gonna keep an eye out for some alligators and whatever other crazy little things you can find while we're out there. So, let's jump in and check it out. Oh my goodness! Are you ready to ride? Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's do it. So we've just finished coming down through the bayou and we are now getting into some open water kayaking which will be fun. It's been absolutely beautiful coming down here. People coming out from their homes calling out saying hello and Sarge our wonderful guide letting them know that we're from Australia. Welcome, welcome, enjoy the bayou, hope you love Louisiana. It's just amazing here. The southern hospitality that everyone talks about is true. People are so friendly here. Woo! 
We just finished up our two days in Lake Charles. It definitely was not long enough, but it was great for a little bit of a taste of what you can get up to yeah. here in southwest Louisiana. We had breakfast at the Beckery before we headed off. The coffee was amazing there. They had these cinnamon rolls. Highly recommend those. Oh, so delicious. Now we're on our way to Lafayette, but first we had to stop off at Bayou Rum Distillery for a little bit of a taste. And we just met our guide Taylor and she's gonna show us around, do a tour, and then do some rum tasting at the end. Distillery's over, now it's time for the best part. We're actually gonna to get to sample some of the rum that they make right here at Bayou Rum Distillery. What I do like about it is whatever you mix it with, a different spice or flavor will actually come out and shine. It's smooth. That was so good. Taylor was amazing as a guide and the rum of course was very tasty. I couldn't have too much because I'm driving. Alicia had my portion. I could have so much. I really liked the orange flavoured uh, rum as well as the spice rum. That one's always a winner. We've driven about 25 minutes outside of Lafayette and we've come to a place called Henderson. Now the reason we've come out here is to do the number one thing that we really wanted to do here in Louisiana go on a swamp tour. So we've teamed up with the guys at McGee's Louisiana Swamp Tours. They run a great eco business here, checking out the basin. And we're gonna go out, see if we can find some alligators, some birds, and all the other cool wildlife you find out here on the basin. And welcome to the Atchafalaya River Basin, y'all. This is actually the largest freshwater basin in North America. It's the second largest in the world, next to the Amazon River Basin. This coloration is from the oils in the trees that we if you go in with white shorts, just come out with white shorts. Depression. There were library buses and library boats that would go to all these small rural communities. I would say the other thing about living out here is just like the tiny homes, or just like hiking and backpacking. We do a lot of that stuff. You can't bring a bunch of extra gear. You gotta have one or two pieces of gear. The trash into treasure, you know? It's over 1.4 million acres. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. couple more spots to check though. Like I said, we are gonna feed some gator. Yeah, so if he's one foot, he's probably about a year old. The bigger ones will eat the smaller ones. We're back on dry land now, and that was a incredible tour. Skip, our guide, probably one of the best yeah. captains we've ever had, knew all the great spots to go to, even managed to find a few gators for us. He taught us so much about swamp life and how people live off the swamp, uh, live on the swamp, and the history about the area, which was absolutely incredible. All right, now it's time to head back to town and check into our guest house. Here in Lafayette, we're staying at Maison Mouton, which is this beautiful building behind us. Now, it is an old plantation home. It was built in 1820, still standing, and still almost looking exactly the same as it did back then 200 years ago. Now this place is a beautiful B&B right in the heart of town. Hospitality as you can expect here in the south of the United States is superb. It's our last day of our Louisiana road trip and there was one place that we could not leave the state without checking out and that is right here, the Tabasco factory on Avery Island here in Louisiana. So a lot of people don't actually realize that Tabasco is grown and made right here on the premises. So that's why we're here to check out the factory, do a bit of a tour and wander around, learn all about the incredible hot sauce that I am absolutely addicted to. This is the barrel warehouse where all the mash is stored in these barrels for up to three years. We finished up at the Tabasco factory and now we're gonna check out another part of Avery Island, the Jungle Garden. It's a three mile driving loop you can do and it's meant to be just absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna get back in the car and hit the road. We've decided to come downtown and check out Lafayette, the main area, and we're just walking around, enjoying ourselves, chatting to locals, popping into businesses, and it's just such an awesome feel. We 
couldn't come to Louisiana without trying the number one dish in the state, crawfish. So we've come down to a local spot just outside of Lafayette called the Crawfish Spot. Funny enough, and guess what they serve? You're welcome. Pick up the crawfish, hinge, break that part off, peel off the shell on the tail here. I think I've broken a little bit. All right, well, I've got this little part first. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow. That's very good. Well, I've got three pounds to get through here, so I'd better start eating. <laughs> We did well. Too well. Very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs>Sadly, our four-day Louisiana road trip is coming to an end, but wow, what an incredible experience. We have met so many amazing people on this road trip. It's so friendly here in the South. We have seen amazing things and we have eaten delicious meals as well, especially last night with the crawfish. It's an awesome experience. Thank you very much to Vacay for helping us plan the yep. entire trip. It was incredible. And also a special thanks to Travel South USA for bringing us here. If you yep. like the video, leave a thumbs up and a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll keep bringing out videos every week. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.